Today, we're gonna to be checking out all of Reeling Park in West Vieira, so stick around. Hey, what's up guys? Today we are back in Vieira. We are gonna be checking out Reeling Park and everything that's going on here and what Vieira Builders has to offer. We're gonna be looking at amenities, HOA fees, all the good stuff, everything that you wanna know. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually start, we're gonna work our way through all the different collections you, so you can get a better understanding of what life here in Reeling Park is all about. Um, I wanna give you some information on what the HOAs are before we get into it because I know that's a big question that a lot of people have because it can be a little bit confusing on what all the associations are in Vieira. It's a little intimidating at first, but when you really break down the cost, it's really not that expensive, when you, especially when you compare it to other communities. So to start off, Vieira does have a master association. Essentially, it's the Vieira, the, um, the Central Vieira Community Association. That comes in at about $230 a year. From there, each Reeling Park community, there's four different collections that we're gonna look at, the Rutherford, the Serrano, and then you've got the Zero Lot Lines, the Castillo, and the San Marco. So all four of those actually have a different association. The Rutherford and Serrano, which are the semi-custom collection, those are gonna have an annual association. And then the Zero Lot Line product, the Castillo and the San Marco, those are actually uh, assessed on a quarterly basis. Now those are a, I wouldn't call them a zero maintenance, but they are a low maintenance product. So you do get a lot more with those com as a, uh, compared to the annual association. Then there is a Vieira CDD. It's only 135 bucks for the year. So it's extremely affordable. And then the Addison Village Center, that's the main um, amenity center that's here in South Vieira. Um, that all of Reeling Park has access to. So if you're um, a, a resident of Reeling Park, that annual Addison Village Center fee is gonna be a HOA fee. I believe if you are not part of Reeling Park, uh, you have the option of joining that at, a, at an additional cost, but it's not a requirement as it is in Reeling Park. So we're gonna go over that as well. And then also Reeling Park South, which is anything south of Addison Drive, is also gonna include uh, cable and internet at 58 bucks a month. So let's get into it. We're gonna go visit the Serrano collection first. I'm sorry, the Serrano collection, which is one of the semi-customs. So let's, I'll see you there. All right, so now we're checking out the Serrano selection. These are gonna be the 60 foot home sites. So essentially that means that the lots are about 60 feet wide. These are semi-custom. This is a Vieira Builders product. And you're gonna have a variety of front elevations here like this one right here in front of me has more of a coastal look you can see it's got like a hardy board siding there and then across the street right here this one's got more of a mediterranean style where it's got the tile roof that coastal looking one had the shingle roof so it's got a mix of different elevation styles different types of roofs you know different color palettes but they're all obviously very complementary of each other so the serranos are semi-custom and they're going to start as low as 609,000 as the base price of the home, not including any type of lot premium. I'll get to lot premiums a little bit later in the video. If you guys are thinking about building new from scratch, I'll talk about build times, uh, what lot premiums are like, if there's a lottery system right now and, uh, and so forth. So stick around for that. So the uh, Serrano's, like I said, they're starting at like 689 for base price of the home, no upgrades, um, which, that being said, Vieira Builders does build a very nice product. So it's not like you're getting a bottom of the barrel home. They do build a very, very nice product. And the uh, home prices are going up to about 775. So your range on the Serrano is gonna be 609 to 775. And the smallest home is gonna be a 3-2. It's about 2,300 square feet under air, two car garage, and it also has a golf cart garage. Um, the largest model they have in this collection it's a four bedroom, four and a half bathroom, 3,600 square feet. So in this particular collection, the Serrano collection, you do actually have the option of having a swimming pool put in if you're building new construction. So if you've looked at new construction before, you'll know that having a, a swimming pool isn't necessarily a common thing. It's actually pretty hard to do. Uh, Vieira pools, it's a new thing. They do offer that. It is available in the Serrano collection. So if that's something you're interested in, this could be a good option for you. Um, association, we talked about all the associations in Vieira at the beginning of the video. So the HOA for the Serrano collection 
is gonna be $480 per year. And that's gonna include just the basic community grounds, no specific maintenance on the homes themselves. Uh, that's gonna be on the zero lot lines that we talked about, which are actually gonna be right over here. Kind of give you an idea of what the San Marco and Castillo look like. Those are gonna have a lot more. So we're gonna head over to the Rutherford collection next, which is also one of the semi-custom lines that Vieira Builders offers. Those are on a little bit bigger of a lot. So I'll see you there. All right, we're over here checking out the Rutherford collection now. So these are gonna be also part of Vieira Builders semi-custom line, but these are gonna be on 65 lots, 65 foot lots, so a little bit bigger. Um, you'll notice everything is a little bit more similar in terms of elevation, um, all tile roofs. It's got more of a, uh, I wouldn't even really call it a Mediterranean, but it's a little bit more of a modern look. Um, and these are actually sold out right now, but you know that doesn't mean that there's not resale homes available and they're also going to be building a very similar product down in Laurasia, which we'll get to in another video. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. You can hit that little red notification, or not red notification, that little red subscribe right down there. And that way when we cover that Laurasia, we do that video, you guys will be able to see that. So let's talk about the Rutherford a little bit. These homes are going to range between like 724 to 880 in terms of base price. Again, that's not really with any uh, substantial upgrades doesn't necessarily include the lot premium but that's just the base price on the home to give you a good idea and these are going to range in size between uh, three bedrooms three and a half bathrooms for their smallest floor plan it's going to come in right over 2900 square feet and that's going to have a three car garage and then their biggest floor plan in the rutherford is going to be a five bedroom four and a half bathroom uh, it's almost 3900 square feet and that's also going to have a three car garage. So let's talk about the association. Uh, association here in the Rutherford is pretty much gonna be the same as the Serrano. It's gonna come in at 480 a year. Doesn't really include anything substantial outside of the basic um, community type stuff. But, um, and so right now, as I mentioned, the Rutherford collection is sold out, but Laurasia is gonna be offering something very similar in terms of the homes and the semi-custom product from Vieira Builders. That's also gonna be a neighborhood where you'll be able to take advantage of Vieira Pools. So if you're looking to build new construction and have a pool done at the time of construction, definitely the Rasia is gonna be one that you're gonna to wanna to check out. So this is also part of the Addison Village Club. So if you live in the Rutherford collection, you'll also have access to that as well. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually head over to the Courtyard Villas, that's gonna be that zero lot line, maintenance-free or low maintenance style product. I'll see you guys over there. So we are at the Courtyard Villas now. These are uh, what are considered to be courtyard homes. They're technically not like a townhome. And if you drive by real quick, the first time I saw them, I thought these were townhomes. So they're actually courtyard homes. They are zero lot line homes, which is why they're so close together. And they've got the, uh, the little breezeway here that actually connects them, but they're detached single family homes. And this is the San Marcos collection that we're gonna look at first. These are gonna be the, actually the, the most affordable um, product line in Reeling Park. These are 35 foot lots. And you could see these also have a mix between a shingle tile roof. Um, you know, the tile ones have more of a Mediterranean look. The shingles got more of a traditional look. And these are gonna range in price between 460,000 to about 500 and 5,000. Uh, as far as floor plans go, the smallest floor plan is a three bedroom, two and a half bath. It's about 1850 square feet. It's got a two car garage. 
And then the largest in the San Marco collection is gonna be a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom. That's gonna be about 2,300 square feet. And that's also two car garage. Uh, one of the things you'll notice about the courtyard style homes is the um, garages are actually on the back of the home. They're rear load garages, they're rear entry garages. So you've got the main street in the front, which actually has curbing and some street parking. So you can park in the front and then in the back is the alleyway where all of the, uh, the garages are. And then here's another one right here behind me, but you can kind of get an idea of how that courtyard works. You've got the garage in the back and then there's almost like a uh, side of the house there, essentially, that's the courtyard area. Um, you can actually get a pool put in these courtyard homes. So it's a pretty, uh, it's pretty unique. It's a different style of living. You know, this is a, I don't wanna say it's a zero maintenance, but it's a much lower maintenance compared to some of the other collections. These are uh, for the San Marco, the HOA, in the San Marco collection is gonna be $5.95 per quarter instead of annual. So it's $5.95 a quarter, but this includes all the common area maintenance and also the home site landscaping. So the home site landscaping and irrigation, exterior paint and pressure washing. So higher HOA, a lot lower maintenance, a lot lower um, risk potentially, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pop over here and check out the Castillo. These are gonna be a little bit bigger and these are gonna be on the 45 foot lot. So I'll meet you guys over there. Now we're checking out the Castillo, which is going to be the 45 foot product in the courtyard villa. So you can see these are a little bit wider. Um, this particular block is actually laid out a little bit different. So the front of the homes um, don't have a street in front of them. There's actually street parking on the sides. There are sidewalks in the front. There's just a grass common area here. And then in the back, same thing. You've got the courtyard rear load. Um, well, it's a courtyard home, rear load garage with the alley. So. These, uh, these Castillos are a little bit bigger, or Castillo, if you're bilingual like me, or at least I, I pretend I am, I'm really not. Um, but uh, these are gonna range in price between about 580 to 640, base price of the home. And in terms of floor plan goes, these are gonna be um, a little bit bigger, of course, the lots are bigger, but these are gonna start at four bedrooms. Smallest one is a four bedroom, three bath. Everything else is pretty much a four bedroom, three and a half bath. And square footage is gonna be between 26 to like 2850 square feet, all two car garages. Uh, the HOA here for the Castillo collection is about 646 a quarter. And it's gonna give you the same thing that the San Marcos did with the common area, the home site, landscape maintenance, irrigation, uh, exterior painting and pressure washing. And then of course, these are all part of the Addison Village Club. So you get access to all those amenities. And what are those? Well, Addison Club is a 9,000 square foot facility. It's got two pools. It's got a splash pad pool for the kids or big kids like me. And then you've also got a lap pool, um, outdoor gym that's actually in the process of being constructed. And yeah, I was wondering about that myself. I thought, you know, is it just like an outdoor fitness course? Apparently it's gonna be an actual outdoor gym with actual gym and fitness equipment. I'm pretty excited to see what that's gonna be all about. Uh, it's got indoor basketball courts, pickleball, bocce courts, a croquet lawn. I haven't played croquet since I was like 10 years old on 4th of July. So we might head over there in a minute, take advantage of that. Uh, it's got multi-use rooms where you can do conferences or, uh, you know, reserve conference rooms or rooms for parties, all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, I got verandas and cabanas at the pool area. And that's also where they're gonna do all the community events and food truck nights. So that's a solid, solid center. Everyone's 
talking about it. I know it's super popular right now. So Addison Village Club, you guys can check that out. And then new construction, right? If you're thinking about building a home right now, what's that process like? Well, currently Vieira Builders, you know, if you're going to go with quick move-ins, you guys know I talk about quick move-ins a lot. I think that's the way to go in this market. You're still probably looking right now at about three to six months. Um, anything that Vieira seems to be releasing that's a quick move-in in its shortest time period seems to be three to six months, give or take a little bit. You know, of course that can always change. So if you guys have questions, definitely reach out. I've got our contact information down in the description. You can call, text, or email. Um, the other thing a lot of people, a lot of you guys had questions about was the lots. Uh, previously, Vieira used to have a lottery system. So if you were going to be building new construction, you had to enter a lottery, and if you got drawn, boom, you get a lot. Uh, there's currently not a lottery system. Could it go back to that? Maybe, I've heard rumors, but at this point, there's no lots, or I'm sorry, there's no lottery. So if you're thinking about building, reach out, we'll get you the most up-to-date information. But the way the lottery system did work, and it could work again if they do this, it was basically like a $5,000 um, deposit or lottery ticket, if you want to call it that. So you put your deposit in, and if you got drawn, you got drawn. If you didn't, you didn't. Uh, it is a $5,000 uh, ticket, or it was, and that was refundable. So if you didn't get drawn, you got your $5,000 back. That's not the case right now. Where there could be a lottery is, let's say there's a back to market. Somebody was building a home for whatever reason, it couldn't close and it's coming back to market. Um, those would potentially be the quickest move-ins if something like that came up. There's a chance if one of those comes up too that it could be part of the lottery system as well. So just something to keep in mind. Like I said, if you guys are interested in that, reach out, we'd love to help you with that. And if you guys have any questions about this, any other parts of the era, homes that you wanna see, communities you want tours of, drop those down in the comments, let me know. If you guys haven't already done so, make sure you're subscribed to the channel right here. Check out one of these videos next. I'll see you next time.